Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we will see the continuation to the answers to the NPTEL course Introduction to Database Systems, Week 9, Assessment 9. So let's get into the video. So question number five is consider a file of 16,384 records. Each record is 32 bytes long and its key field size is six bytes. The file is ordered on a non-key field B and the file organization is unspanned. The file is stored in a file system with block size 1024 bytes and size of a record pointer is 10 bytes. A secondary index is built on the key field of the file and a multi-level index scheme is used to store the secondary index file. Use a record pointer size as the block pointer size also. So a record pointer size is given as 10 bytes. So the block pointer size is also 10 bytes. Question is number of blocks in the first level of the multi-level index is what? So size of a record in the index file is equal to search key field size plus block pointer field size. So which is 6 bytes plus 10 bytes is totally 16 bytes. Size of one record in the index file is 16 bytes. So blocking factor for the index file is block size divided by record size. So, so floor of block size divided by record size. So block size is 1024 bytes and your record size is just now we saw 6 plus 10, which is 16 bytes. So floor of 1024 divided by 16, you'll be getting 64. So blocking factor for the index file is 64, which means that one block can hold 64 records. So uh, your totally we have 16,384 records, which is nothing but 2 power 14. So total number of blocks required would be total number of records divided by number of records which can be held by a block, which is nothing but the total number of blocks required would be uh, equal to ceiling of 2 power 14 divided by 2 power 6. So we'd be getting 2 to the power 8. So the number of entries in the first level index would be 256. The next question is the number of blocks in the second level of the multi-level index. The number of blocks in the second level of the multi-level index is equal to the number of in entries in the first level of the multi-level index divided by the blocking factor. Just now we saw that the number of entries in the first level of the multi-level index is 256 divided by blocking factor is 64. So 256 divided by 64 would be 4. The next question is, suppose that a disk unit has a block size of 2400 bytes and employee record has the following fields, SSN 9 bytes, last name 20 bytes, first name 20 bytes and so on. So a data file has 30,000 employee records using unspanned organization. They are asking what will be the blocking factor for the data file. So whenever they ask the blocking factor for data file, the formula is record size divided by block size, the formula for the blocking factor. So here, to calculate the blocking factor, we need to find out how many records can fit into one block, which is your blocking factor. So the total size of one employee record is add up all these fields, the SSN 9 bytes, last name 20 bytes, and so on. So 9 plus 20 plus 20 plus 1 plus 10 plus 35 plus 12 plus 9 plus 4 plus 5 bytes for the job code. So totally you need 125 bytes to store one employee record. So to calculate the number of records that can fit into one block, we divide the block size by the record size, which will give you the blocking factor. The formula for blocking factor is block size divided by record size. So you'd be getting 2400 divided by 125, which would be equal to 19.2. So we round this blocking factor to the nearest integer. So 19.2 when rounded to the nearest integer, you would be getting 19. The next question is what will be the number of disk blocks in the data file? So the number of disk blocks in the data file is equal to ceiling of R, that is the record length divided by blocking factor. So here it has been given that the data file has 30,000 employee records. So ceiling of total number of records divided by blocking factor. So ceiling of 30,000 divided by blocking factor, just now we found it as 19. Ceiling of 30,000 divided by 19, we would be getting 1,578.947. So 
So when you round it off to the nearest integer, you would be getting 1,579 blocks. So the answer for eighth question is C, 1,579 blocks. Next question is, a sorted data file on a disk with block size 2048 bytes has the following details. Number of records is uh, 13,10,720 and record length is 200 bytes. Size of the primary key field is 13 bytes. Size of the block pointer is 7 bytes. For this file, we need to build a multi-level index on the primary key. So what is the blocking factor for the index file? So blocking factor for the index file is equal to block size divided by size of each index field entry. The block size is given as 2048 bytes. The size of each index field entry is equal to 13 bytes plus 7 bytes. That is the size of the primary key field plus the size of the block pointer is the size of your index field entry. So 13 plus 7 would be 20. So block size divided by size of each index field entry. This is the formula for blocking factor for the index file. So it is 2048 divided by 20. You would be getting 102.4. Rounded off, you'll be getting 102. Next question is, what is the number of index entries in the second level of the index? So number of uh, index entries in the second level of index is equal to the number of blocks in the first level of the index. So number of blocks in the first level of the index is equal to your number of records, which is 13,10,720 divided by your blocking factor. So the number of blocks in the first level of index formula is R divided by blocking factor. R is your number of records. Number of records is 13,10,720 divided by your blocking factor. Just now we found out which is 102. So when we divide 13,10,720 divided by 102, we would be getting 12,851 as your answer. So that is all with the answers to the DBMS assignment. If you found the video useful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.